It's the start of a period of prosperity that will transform North America. From Jamestown and Plymouth, their descendants grow across the landscape. As more and more people cross the Atlantic, thousands, tens of thousands, people with different backgrounds, different reasons for being here. America becomes the place for everybody from everywhere. Rolling the dice, coming together to create 13 colonies. From Jamestown, agriculture spreads across the south. Dirt farms transform into sprawling plantations. Irish, Germans, and Swedes push back the frontier. The Dutch bring commerce to a small island at the mouth of the Hudson River. In time, it will be named New York. The colonists are two inches taller and far healthier than those they left behind in Europe. The Puritans average eight children and they are twice as likely to survive to adulthood. They are 20% richer and pay only a quarter of the taxes of those in England. Many still think of themselves as British, but each generation grows further from its roots. Nowhere more so than Boston. May 9th, 1768. Seven generations after John Rolfe's first tobacco harvest, the British won a bigger piece of the action. A British customs official springs a surprise raid on the Liberty, a ship belonging to John Hancock, one of the richest men in Boston. But Hancock's crew has other ideas. They're carrying a hundred casks of imported wine and don't want to pay duty. It's a radical act of rebellion against taxes imposed by a king 3,000 miles away. To the British, they're just common smugglers. This small skirmish changes everything. The British seize Hancock's ship, triggering riots that sweep through Boston. We didn't want to pay taxes to a king and to a parliament where we didn't have a voice uh, and we didn't have any representation. We have a natural resentment toward government, which was how we were born. The king sends 4,000 redcoats to Boston to enforce his laws. Boston was a city of commerce, culture, civilization, and revolution unfolding right before the eyes of the colonists and the eyes of the British. October 1768. British soldiers clamp down on Boston, a port crucial to the British Empire and a hub of global trade and